Alrighty, new shot. Here's play this. That chair. Oh, oh cool. All right, you're saying here that arms and hands still feel stiff. It's a bit challenging switching from IK to FK and also the pen constraints with the chair. That is totally understandable. I think it's a lot better though. I think I still see some some little spacing pops here and there. And some moments that could be smoothed out a little bit. I think he gets a little bit off balance. As he pulls that chair, I'm not buying that. That chair is so heavy that it can be, you know, that he has to lean back so far to then pull that chair. I would stay within this kind of balance there. It's a short moment. Just looking at the root. I think it's pretty good. You can have a bit of a... Depending on that rig, it would be cool to see. This is pretty harsh on that stop. But I do like how your head boom, reacts to it. But if that rig... If this is rigged, it would be neat to have a little bit of compression on that chair. To come down and up a bit. But I think generally you're on the right track with the root. If I look at the legs here, every now and then there's some moments. It's, tr it's very tricky. You look at that knee spacing here, and as it goes to the right, you got a moment where right there, it, it's sticking right there. You have to be careful. This almost feels overextended, but... So every now and then the spacing is slow and then it speeds up a bit here and then it kind of locks almost and then it suddenly goes back to the right over the frame two and then, and then we have a lock here again. I think that's the main thing in your movement on the knees. I'd be careful. This is a bit even in timing here on that rotation. I think you can go slow and then fast and then slow again. This gets a bit wonky. We're really far out with the knee and the leg while the pelvis is pointed this way. Like This is really, really broad. I wouldn't go further than maybe this or this. Not straight on. You want to be either or. But I think this gets a bit too far. Like by now I buy it. As he takes that step, we can pivot off of here and move that if you want. But this feels just ever so slightly broken. But the general move I like, I like the, the complexities of your rotations and what you're doing here. Careful something like this, when you have a foot that starts to slow down, I, I'm always expecting the pivot to be here. But you can see how that foot slides back. And it doesn't go down that much further. It doesn't feel like this is the ground and the foot is here, like high up, or if this is the ground, the foot is high up. And it's kind of a step back like that. This feels like the foot's already on the ground and then it should pivot and flatten and pivot off of here, if that makes sense. So watch out that this doesn't go back so far here. Then if I look at the chest and the head, it's not too bad, but I'm seeing if you track anything like the ear or the nose or whatever you have here, you can see how we're going forward to the right. And then here was suddenly, it's not a super wall, but it still feels like, oh, we're hitting something right there. And then it goes, continues to go forward. And then you have suddenly a spacing increase here. Every now and then it's just a bit wonky. Here again, we're kind of stopping a bit too far or too much where it feels like the rest is kind of moving forward and rotates up. But translate wise, we're kind of stuck. Same thing here again. You move over the rotation Y and then it's and then a roll this way that kind of stops and then we roll the other way and then we go back the other way. And with that again, we stop suddenly there and then we suddenly feels really stiff because all of this is moving as one. And then we kind of chest, upper chest and head moving over again, but then not, not so far, but then we suddenly have an extra rotation in the head that Gives us this kind of almost broken feel to it. And then we're going this way and then suddenly down to the left. There's a bunch of there's spacing for me, spacing and arc issues. And even when you go down here and we do have that compression, boom, as this stops and the head goes down, 
you go to the right and you can see how we go straight up here instead of having some smoother arcs. And of course, all that movement and irregularities, this, they just go straight into those arms. So I see, well, you mentioned the pops here. Some issues there. I feel like some little issues there. This swings a bit fast. And it's a bit broad and it's back and forth. And in here, sometimes it just moves a bit quickly left and right. Then we suddenly feel like really straight. This feels like he's holding something really heavy right through through there. This feels odd how straight that arm is. But then we have a lot of rotation in the in the wrist, especially as it goes back there again. So it just feels really busy when it comes to the wrist rotation and arms. They definitely gonna have to lock down the fingers here to feel that grip. And that's that. Yeah, I think it's definitely better. But I think it definitely needs another pass just to clean up. And I know this is super annoying and painful and, and tedious, but you're going to have to go through and check your knees, your elbows, you know, the spacing of, of everything, chest and head and, and track the nose tip so that things don't feel like, especially like this section, right, right when I stop there, you can see that boop, 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 feels very poppy left and right. And then kind of a broken pose where you almost want to be a bit more angled the other way. And then this feels really harsh. That stop like this, this makes us feel also fairly light. And even that chair stop is a bit, a bit, un, un peu sec, as we say in French, a bit, a bit dry. <laughs> but it's, it just calls you to where I would feel like a little bit of a more of an ease in to this. Same here as you stop. I know this is not a super light chair, but just a little bit. It's, it gets a bit too clean on that stop. But then at the end, it feels like we almost have a drift when he sits down. That chair just keeps on going. I think you can have sit, roll, and then around here ish, that chair will kind of stop. That's not really a, a deal breaker, but it has a slight feel of a drift at the end. And if you're going into final, final polish as it rotates, if there's a controller here to rotate those wheels, this would be at the very end. Uh, you would have to change your, the angle and rotation. That I mean, like it feels very, very stiff there. Alrighty, that is that. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.